Hi Fire Signs, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. We're going to be looking at what your person secretly wants to tell you, but they can't. So we'll see what comes up uh, in the cards using a couple of decks. <clears throat> if you like this content, please feel free to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, let's let's get into it and see what comes up, okay? What do they secretly want to tell you? Okay, Six of Swords, the, he the, the Star card reversed, Knight of Swords. Okay, there's someone here who hasn't healed from an ex or from the past, um, past relationship yet. Knight of Swords is... I'm getting like a rebound vibe from someone here who's jumping into things too quickly before they're actually ready. <clears throat> things are moving faster than anticipated or faster than they want. Okay, Two of Pentacles. Um, Six of Wands reversed. <clears throat> and the Queen of Swords. Okay. So, straight away I get someone here who's not entirely over something. Now, it could be an argument. It could be an ex. It could be someone from the past. Yep, I'm, I'm getting a vibe that Star reverse, Six of Swords, they're not ready to move forward yet. It's reversed with the Star card. All right, Fire Signs, be careful. If you're seeing signs that someone isn't emotionally available, chances are they're not. Especially if they're giving you mixed signals, Two of Pentacles, they're trying to balance two connections or two emotional attachments at the one time. Look, maybe they're not talking to their ex. You know, maybe this is more for those that are still friends with their ex and like they hang out. I get, I get like if they've got kids together or they've got, a pet together or they've got like things to sort out like practical things and that's why they need to be in touch then yes it's it's understandable but if it's going be a little bit beyond that like they talk to each other every day for an hour at night or you know they they still talk to their fam ex's family and stuff that is a bit maybe a bit too much and i'm just worried here because i think you've, you've you can see it play out um I think you've seen this within them and you're like, okay, this is a bit of a red flag. I mean, I wouldn't say, obviously, if you want to leave the situation, it's it's going to be your choice. But, you know, maybe you just need to give it more time. But I feel like with the Knight of Swords, there's someone here who feels rushed or pressured. You know, Knight of Swords races ahead. Um, maybe they're scared to race ahead because they've been hurt before in the past. They're scared to jump into things and race ahead and have that crumble, have it all crumble in front of them. I, you know, I don't think, I don't think they'd be too happy about that. Um, now, if it's not them, it's you, fire signs. If you're still hooked on an ex, you, you're not able to move forward. You're not showing emotional emotional attachment this could be you six of ones reversed so they're seeing that you're maybe not fully invested in this connection and they sort of want to address it with queen of swords may have even heard some things okay queen of swords can be like gossip so maybe they heard some stuff about you and about your ex and that you guys still talk or that you're not ready to heal from a situation maybe they heard about your divorce or your previous split or whatever happened um and it's, it, it's been on their mind ever since I can't believe everything you hear, so I get that there's there could be some gossip here. Um, <clears throat> there could also be someone, if you're in no contact with this person, there could be someone here who is not ready to heal or not ready to talk yet. Okay, so if you've been trying to reach out, you've been trying to connect with them, the healing, you know, the talking, the healing, the let's patch things up cards. Let's move forward. They're both reversed. So just, just a message here with the Knight of Swords. If you if you try to sort things out before they're ready to mentally and emotionally, you're not going to get through to them. And I know fire signs, you guys can be impatient. You know, you want 
you want results yesterday, so you might have to um you might have to be more patient with this person than <clears throat> than you actually want to be. Okay, Queen of Swords, they could also be like intimidated. <clears throat> they could be intimidated by you somehow. Especially if you have like <clears throat> a lot of attention from friends and um, you know, you've got a social media, <clears throat> a lot of people following your social media, or you're out there in the spotlight, or you work in events. I get that there may be some sort of intimidation <clears throat> with the people that you're connected to. It could be like friends as well. They're intimidated by the people you're friends with. Um, maybe this is a reflection of their insecurities uh, or their like uncertainties. You know that I get this. I get this vibe that this person is a bit all over the place, to be honest. <laughs> it's their energy is all over the place. I don't think they're really sure of what they want. And I feel like things are in balance right now for them for some reason. Because you're coming up as six of wands reversed. So suddenly, you know, they're not feeling as confident. Again, it may be something they heard or especially if they've recently met your family and friends and they might be like, you know, I don't think I'm good enough for this person. There's lack of confidence, Aquarius reversed. So they're not feeling very confident about your connection. Could feel a bit wobbly. And again, it could be because they're talking to someone else or they're not emotionally available to date yet. They're there, they talk to you, they connect and they enjoy that aspect of it. But deep emotional bonding is reversed for them right now. So... Look, maybe they just need more time to, to to sort of come around. Could be that. Mm. There's lots of fish here. This is Pisces maybe then. Pisces coming through. Pisces reversed. Mm. Pisces reversed into sixes. <clears throat> They're trying to listen to their intuition, but it's not helping them. Intuition, I feel like, is reversed. Uh, Pisces is very intuitive. <clears throat> number six is a number of intuition. Both sixes have come out reversed. It's like they're not using their intuition right now or it's not giving them a lot of clarity. And that's why they're probably all over the place. And that's why they're probably scared to tell you that because they're intimidated by you, I think. They're intimidated by telling you what's really going on internally with them. Um, and they're fearful of how, you know, how you'll take it. So... Again, it's a reflection of them rather than you. But I think I want to say just be mindful and, and go slowly, especially if this person is like love bombing you a lot. More likely and more often than not, it's because they've got um, they've got someone they're still attached to and they're trying to fill that void or they're not emotionally available. And maybe they don't even know it. Like this could be on a completely subconscious level. And... <clears throat> Maybe it's in the cards here because it's like, well, they're not healed yet and their subconscious might be trying to tell them, but they're either not listening or they don't know how to tap into that and, and look and realize, what am I doing here? What is, you know, am I ready for this person? Am I ready for this connection? Can I commit to this person? So um, interesting reading, but I will leave it at that fire signs. Again, this was for Aries, Sag, and Leo. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, if you are after private reading with me, please feel free to be in touch. My email is listed in the About Me section 
on my YouTube channel. Um, otherwise, love to have you join me. Really appreciate it, Fire Signs. Um, all the best. Look after yourselves. And until next time, bye for now.